Many summertime traditions are returning this year since the COVID-19 vaccine is widely available. One popular festival kicks off today in Ottawa County. News 5's John Rutter explains why it's more than just fun and games for the area. The Wildlife Festival was canceled last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but organizers say they're ready for a big comeback for the event's 40th year. Normally, the festival opens on a Friday, so not only are they opening a day earlier by opening today, they're also extending the fun. People in Port Clinton are gearing up for the return of the city's biggest annual celebration this weekend, the Walleye Festival. Now in its 40th year after being canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the walleye fishing capital of the world is ready to make a splash. It doesn't seem like work this year because we're just all so thrilled to, to be able to do it. The event at Waterworks Park is run by the nonprofit Main Street Port Clinton and is the organization's largest fundraiser, bringing in about $3.8 million annually and 75% of the operating budget for the city's area chamber of commerce. We provide grants to downtown business owners. We, you know, plant flowers every year. We take care of all the downtown. It's how we add extra um you know, free events throughout the summer. In order for it to go swimmingly, organizers are ready to reel people in with more than 80 vendors, including food stands, carnival rides, live music every day, plus a grand parade on Saturday. And then our kids fishing derby, which is a huge hit, will happen on Sundays. To top it all off, the city will also have a Memorial Day parade at 10 a.m. Monday morning. And when it comes to COVID-19 safety, organizers say they're following CDC guidelines. Masks will not be required to enter, but they're asking those who are unvaccinated to wear masks and social distance. There will also be extra cleaning crews and hand sanitizer stations. The Walleye Festival kicks off at 5 o'clock tonight and runs through Monday. The carnival rides will be shut down on Tuesday and Wednesday and then reopen on Thursday and run until Sunday, June the 6th. Reporting for News 5, I'm John Rutter.